Hi guys, it's Claire Aiken with the Fiddle Leaf Fig Plant Resource Center and today I want to answer a question that we get a lot that's an interesting question. Do fiddle leaf figs clean the air in your home? And so it may be a little bit different than the answer you're expecting. So first of all, all plants clean the air in your home. That's just part of what they do. They take in carbon dioxide and chemicals, they release pure oxygen. But I have an argument that the fiddle leaf fig may be the best air cleaning plant out there and I'll tell you why. And so this idea of plants cleaning the air actually came out of a study back in 1989 that was the NASA Clean Air Study. It's fascinating if you haven't read about it. It was led by a man called B.C. Wolverton. He is a doctor of uh, botany that studied plants and it was his job at NASA to develop a system to clean the air on um, you know, spaceships or in the space station and he proved that plants actually clean the air better than any technology that NASA could come up with. And so he did a really interesting study with NASA on how plants take out chemicals, common household chemicals, things like benzene, formaldehyde, ammonia, the most common chemicals that are in our office buildings and our homes. And he studied 12 plants and he was able to kind of release the results of how well each of those plants cleaned the air and actually took in the chemicals and released oxygen. So the result of that is the NASA Clean Air Study. What is interesting about that is he proved that plants are effective in combating what's called sick building syndrome. And in the 80s, there were a lot of people really concerned with this because when you build a building, you use paint, you use carpeting, you use a lot of glue on the floor, and all of these things do what's called off-gassing, and they put out poisonous chemicals that we end up breathing every day that we're in an office. And so the symptoms of sick building syndrome include sore throat, kind of allergy-like symptoms, you know, irritation of your nasal passages, headache, fatigue, and even some pretty severe symptoms like mental confusion, depression, um, you know, some psychosomatic um, symptoms that you can have as a result of this sick building syndrome. And so what BC Wolverton did is he proved that houseplants can actually help combat sick building syndrome and take all the chemicals out of the air and really help to uh, kind of remove those harmful chemicals. And so one of the things I want you to know is that there's a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to NASA's clean air study. They studied 12 plants and they released the results. This doesn't mean that these plants were the best plants for cleaning the air. It's just the 12 plants that they chose and the criteria for why they chose them was that they were readily available at local nurseries, that they were low light so that you could grow them in an office building, and that they're easy to grow. And so these plants don't necessarily mean that they're the best ones, but they all did clean the air pretty well. And these 12 plants are things like snake plants, Chinese evergreens, peace lilies, um, all of the plants listed here. English ivy, that's a great one. Um, but these aren't necessarily the best ones. So B.C. Wolverton wrote this book, and it's one of my favorite books. It's, it's just a great read, and if you've ever seen my Fiddle Leaf Fig Care webinar, you know that I mention it as one of the best books about houseplants that you should read. And so it's called How to Grow Fresh Air, and he also wrote another book called Plants, Why You Can't Live Without Them. But in How to Grow Fresh Air, he took it a step further, and what he did was study tons of plants and he ranked them against each other for how well they absorbed these toxic chemicals and he ranked them on a scale of 1 to 50. And so in that book you get the actual top cleaning house plants that you could ever have. So here are the top 10 plants that he listed. So the first one was an areca palm, I have one of those, second lady palm, bamboo, and fourth is a rubber plant, which is ficus elastica. And so you'll know that that's a ficus like the fiddly fig. So that's good news. Dracaena was next, English ivy, a dwarf date palm. So you know there's a lot of palms on this list. The second one is another ficus. The number eight is another ficus. And then number nine is a Boston fern. And so what's important to note here is that two of the top 10 plants at cleaning the air are ficus plants. And so that's important just to note because a fiddle leaf fig is a ficus lorata. And so to take it a step further, I just want you to understand how plants clean the air. So a lot of people just think that they absorb chemicals through their leaves and they release oxygen. So that's true. That's about half of the air cleaning properties of plants. But what's really interesting 
is a little bit over 50% of the air cleaning qualities comes from the soil and the roots and the microbes in the root system. And so the soil, as the leaves transpire uh, water out of the leaves, it actually pulls down oxygen into the soil. And through that process, the microbes filter and remove chemicals. And so plants actually can adapt. If they're in a very dirty environment, like a home of somebody who smokes or in a very polluted city, they'll actually get better at cleaning the air over time. And so there's two things at play. It's the leaves and the root system. And so that's important to kind of understand. So to clean the air in your home, NASA actually made some cool recommendations. So how many plants do you need to clean the air and say an average size home? So they recommend two to three plants per 100 square feet. So what they mean by that is a smaller plant. So an eight inch diameter pot of an average plant. So say you have a Chinese evergreen in an eight inch pot. You would need two to three of those per 100 square feet. So say you have an average size home, say an 1800 square foot home, you would need at least 36 small or medium plants to completely clean the air and have a perfect pure air home. But I will argue that if you have one large fiddly fig, that could count for as many as three to five smaller plants, and I'll tell you why. So let's think about the things that make a plant good at cleaning air. So first of all, the number one factor is a high leaf surface area because that's one main component of how they clean the air is the leaves take in these chemicals and metabolize them. The second is a high soil volume. And so being in a large pot, which to most fiddly figs, especially if you're, if you have a big tree, they're going to be in a pretty large pot. Um, the third thing is a high soil surface area. So you're going to want to make sure that you're not putting anything on top of the soil. Um, and plants like ferns or snake plants that kind of crowd out the whole surface area of the soil to grow, they're not going to be as good because the surface of the soil isn't exposed to pull in those chemicals. And the final thing is a high transpiration rate, and that means as the leaves are releasing water vapor, they're sucking down air into the root system, and the root system is metabolizing and filtering any of those toxic compounds. So the reason that I think a fiddly fig may be the best air cleaning plant in the world is because it has the highest leaf surface area, these huge, huge leaves, large soil volume, especially if you have a big tree a high soil surface area because if you have a tree that just has one trunk then all of the soil is exposed and it has one of the highest transpiration rates of any plant out there and so um, i think that's just a really cool you know framework to look at where a fiddle leaf fig might be on the scale unfortunately i've tried to contact bc wolverton to study fiddle leaf figs he's 88 years old now and the nasa lab is shut down so i'm not sure that there's a way to study this in the same conditions that he studied these previous plants but i do think that a fiddle leaf fig is probably in the top 10 for sure of houseplants for cleaning the air, and certainly it does a fantastic job of purifying the air in your home. Unfortunately, when he did the studies, fiddle leaf figs weren't popular and they just weren't around, and so they were never studied. So I want to conclude with, you know, just kind of telling you how to get your plants to clean the air better if you're looking to do so. And so first of all, you really want to keep the surface of your plant clean. And so if it's blocked by dust or by any um, kind of debris, it's not going to be able to transpirate as well and it's not going to be able to absorb those compounds as well. So you want to make sure to shower your plant maybe once a month, spray it down. We have a leaf shine and protect spray that you can use to clean your plant properly and it won't give you any kind of a waxy coating that will block that transpiration process. Make sure that you don't use anything on your fiddly fig that will block the stomata or the pores of the plant. So things like coconut oil or any kind of waxy leaf shine, you don't want to use those because that just blocks that barrier and we want the leaves to be um, kind of sucking in as much carbon dioxide and chemicals and releasing as much water as possible so that they're pulling up air through their root system. And so um, the third thing is you really want to use a good, well aerated soil. And so that helps because that helps the root microbes function and the air to flow through and do about half of that metabolizing of dangerous chemicals. So we have a well draining premium fiddly fig soil if you're interested, and that will really help your roots breathe. It'll help your plant be healthier and it'll help with this transpiration process to clean the air. And then the last thing, 
I would say is just don't cover the soil with anything. I know some people like to use bark or pebbles for aesthetics, but if you're really serious about your plant cleaning the air, you want to leave that soil exposed. Um, so those are kind of my tips. If you do want to think about using other plants to clean the air in your home, I think it's a good idea to use a variety of plants because there are some species that absorb chemicals at different times of the day. Like a good example is a snake plant actually releases pure oxygen at night, whereas most other plants take in some oxygen at night. And so having a variety of plants can make sure that at different times of the day, they're each metabolizing chemicals in your home. And there are some plants that just don't do certain chemicals. And so there's some plants that do not metabolize formaldehyde. And so you would want to make sure you have a large variety of houseplants so that you're getting all of the most common toxic chemicals. You want to make sure that your plants are as healthy as possible. And if you live in a really polluted area, you probably are going to want to have more plants. Um, so if you live in a place with fresh air out in the country, you know, maybe you only need one plant per room. But if you live in maybe Beijing or somewhere that's very, very polluted, you may want to have even more plants. And so those are kind of my tips for using houseplants to clean the air and particularly with fiddle leaf figs. Um, so the answer is yes. Fiddle leaf figs do clean the air. They do a fantastic job. They may be the best air cleaning plant in the world, and I'm looking for a way to prove that. If you want to learn more about our products, click below. Please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join our Facebook group to ask questions about your plant, click below. And if you're interested in learning more about how to take care of your fiddle leaf fig, check out our Ultimate Fiddle Leaf Fig webinar, and I'll leave a link for that below as well. Thanks for watching and happy growing. Thank you.